everyone and welcome back. Summers are here and so I decided to share some quick to make healthy summer meals with you all. Starting with some high protein breakfast. I make homemade curd by putting it in a sieve overnight in the fridge so that all the whey settles in the bowl. Now to prepare the stuffing of the sandwich, I'll grate and chop all the desired vegetables and keep them ready. Sandwiches are the best way to sneak in lots of greens in kids meal and that's one of the biggest reason I enjoy them the most. Now to add more protein to the stuffing, I'll grate some paneer. For the spices, I'll add red chilli powder, chaat masala powder, red chilli flakes, black pepper and black salt. Now add all the chopped veggies and salt and mix everything well. Do not add salt earlier else veggies release water and the sandwich can go soggy. Now layer the bread slices with butter and ketchup or green chutney if you have and put a generous amount of stuffing for a good bite. Now I will give the sandwich some Indianized twist by toasting these sandwiches over a tempering of mustard seed and some red chilli powder. Cut the sandwiches in half and enjoy a super delicious and healthy high protein breakfast prepared in no time. I like to add different grains in my meal throughout the day. So I had pre-soaked some foxtail millets for the lunch to prepare vegetable curd millets. I'll boil the millet with double the quantity of water for 12 to 15 minutes. While the millets are cooking, I'll chop all veggies that go well with curd millets. If you do not want to use millet, replace it with rice to make curd rice and for vegetables, feel free to use a chopper to pace up the process. Millets are done but I will cover them for another 10 minutes so that they fluff up well. In the meantime, I will do the tempering preparation. To add proteins, I will crush some peanuts and keep them aside. Very recently I bought this cast iron tadka pan which I am very happy with. The handle is very long and with an excellent grip. The best part is the big size of bowl for tempering which is even bigger than our day to day bowls. It is also ideal for making soup or rasam for single servings. Even though it is cast iron but it is very lightweight and has good finishing. I love that it has two spouts on either side for easy pouring. Unlike my last tarka pan which has a covered bottom, holding it on the stove was hard. However, this one comes with a flat round base which sits perfectly on the burner. I will now take the millet out in a tray to cool down as after that only, I'll add the curd. A lot of you had asked me about the salad I prepared with my food. So here is my quick salad recipe for you all. I'll first thinly slice all desired veggies and collect them together in a bowl. Now for the seasoning, I'll add some salt chaat masala, black salt, 
pepper, a few drops of lemon juice and coriander and mint leaves. And that's it. Just mix everything together and keep aside for 10 minutes to let all the flavors absorb well. Millets have cooled down and now I'll add curd and all the veggies. For the seasoning, I'll add some salt, very little sugar, red chilli powder and black pepper and mix everything well. Lastly goes the very basic tempering with few pulses, curry leaves and dried red chilli. Papad goes well with the curd millet and I'll roast them on a direct flame. A lot of you ask me about my portion size. So honestly speaking, we as a family like to eat variety but in small portions throughout the day. I at times admire following the Japanese 80-20 rule where you just fill your stomach till you are 80% full and that is enough to sustain you till your next meal. But we all have freedom of choice, so feel free to do what suits you the most. And this is how a healthy summary meal looks like. Summer gets me excited for some good summer coolers. So today, I thought of sharing this super delicious pineapple juice with you all. I'll take the peel off from the pineapple and cut it into small chunks. If you don't have pineapple, please feel free to replace it with mango, watermelon or muskmelon. Hard work is done and now in the blender add mint leaves, pineapple chunks, juice of lemon, honey, jaggery and black salt as per your taste. Now add some ice and water and blend everything in a mixer. Now strain this mixture nicely and serve it cold. This pineapple cooler makes an amazing drink when guests are coming in or you are not in the mood to eat fruits. This I find is the best way to fight the heat in the evening as the freshness of mint is absolutely refreshing. Some of meal ideas are actually to target meals that are absolutely quick to prepare and after spending an entire day Cooking a heavy dinner is a big no-no for me. So this high protein macaroni pasta is my best bet as a fulfilling dinner. I'll make the base in pink sauce. So I'll start by blanching a few tomatoes. The next ingredient is lots and lots of garlic. Alongside tomatoes, I'll put the macaroni for boiling. Along with the garlic, I'll also roughly chop some onion for the base gravy. Now in a kadai, add some butter and olive oil and saute whole garlic and onions till they turn slightly golden brown. Once done, I'll keep everything aside to cool down a bit. Macaroni is done. So I'll also take it out and save some pasta water. Now the protein in this pasta comes from paneer. Yes. So for the base gravy, I'll blend the tomatoes along with onion garlic and crushed paneer and all the pasta seasoning. Tomatoes 
to thin out the gravy add the pasta water and blend everything together and that's it add this pasta sauce on the macaroni and cook for not more than 5 minutes add 1 teaspoon ketchup to get the desired color and to balance out the tanginess of the tomatoes add more seasonings and salt as per your liking and mix everything well you can add cheese if you like but i am grating it only for the plating purpose serve along with some bread and high protein delicious macaroni pasta is ready to serve I hope you enjoyed watching these recipes and like I always ask do share which recipe you'll surely try in the comment section below like this video and subscribe to the channel to motivate me more and join me on Instagram for some regular life updates and I'll see you in my next vlog until then stay tuned and stay connected